Top 10 Ways Coronavirus Will Change Your Life Forever At this moment, COVID-19 is sweeping through the world and the global economy appears to be collapsing. But as more and more people adjust to life in quarantine, we are starting what's becoming a global social experiment. 10 Working From Home The world is engaged in a global work-from-home experiment, and we're going to see firsthand just how sustainable it is. Those studies have always been out there, but if employers see the results firsthand for themselves, there's going to be no denying that letting people continue working from home after the pandemic is over isn't going to send them out of business. 9. Universal Basic Income The idea of sending every person in a country a monthly check, even if they don't go to work, was starting to crop up on the odd campaign trail, but in most countries, it didn't sound like anything we'd see anytime soon. But for the next few months, it's going to be a reality. They're going to effectively be dry test runs on how these policies really affect society. It's too early to say what the result is going to be. Finland tried universal basic income in 2017 and 2018 and concluded that it left people happy but jobless, which might be what we find in the rest of the world, as well. But one way or another, these debates are going to be a lot less theoretical when the pandemic is over. 8. Automation Companies that use more automation are already doing better than those that rely on cramming human workers into a tightly packed factory and companies are starting to notice. They've even experimented with robotic hospitals, where machines take your temperature, deliver your meals, and disinfect your room to keep humans from having to come into contact with someone carrying a disease. 7. Online Learning Schools are shutting down in nearly every country that's seen an outbreak of COVID-19, and that's pushing parents into teachers into a whole new era of education. For the next few months, online learning is going to be the norm. No matter how tech-savvy your teacher is, they're going to have to learn how to make education digital. Still, every teacher in the world is getting a crash course in 21st century learning. They're guaranteed to come back with ideas that'll transform how our kids learn. 6. The Rise of Big Government Whether that's a good thing or not is up to debate, but good or bad, there's a lot of reason to believe that it's true. Around the world, people have been embracing big government ever since COVID-19 began to spread. Socialist policies are being implemented all around the world, even in countries led by conservative and libertarian leaders. And even if hands-off government comes back in fashion when this is over, there are bound to be a few bills passed that, before COVID-19, never would have made it through. 5. Voting by Mail On April 15, with a pandemic ravaging their country, the people of South Korea are going to have to line up outside of booths and cast their votes in the 2020 election. They're going to require voters to wear masks and disposable gloves, and they're going to check everyone's temperatures before allowing them to enter. We can count on the voter turnout being abysmal, and it's going to be a wake-up call for the rest of the world. Americans too are going to have to change their voting rules this year, and we can expect those changes to be permanent. Two in three Americans already say they're worried about voting in person, and some are already fighting for change. For the death of small businesses For the next few months, these businesses and their employees are going to be stripped of any revenue stream that doesn't come from the government. A lot of them aren't going to be able to survive it. JP Morgan predicts that the average small business will only be able to survive 27 days of this before going bankrupt. Currently, about 50% of Americans work for small businesses. But when this is over, that percentage will probably be a lot lower. 3. The end of reliance on China COVID-19 couldn't have come at a worse time for China. Up until now, the world has relied on China as its manufacturing hub. But as China has gone under quarantine and has struggled to keep up its pace, it's become increasingly clear just how dangerous it is to rely on a single location to supply the world. Several countries are already starting to bring manufacturing back into their own borders, while others are talking about spreading out their manufacturing to several different places. We are going to have to start relying on other countries for manufacturing, and that's going to hurt China long after the pandemic is over. 2. Free and Universal Health Care after the Spanish flu of 1918, countries around the world, author Laura Spinney says embraced the concept of socialized medicine. People started to realize that the health of the poor affected everyone, and the first discussions that would lead to universal health care began. 
There are only a handful of countries that don't have universal health care today, and one developed nation, but this could be the moment that pushes the rest of the world into free health care. 41% of Americans already say that they are more likely to support universal health care in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and policies seem to be pushing that way, too. If treatment isn't made free before the pandemic's over, we're sure to see more people demanding it. Some people have been coming home with bills as high as $35,000 for treatment, and there's no way that those people aren't going to end up demanding changes. Want a new political uprising? COVID-19 is hitting our health hard, but it's hitting our economy even harder. A lot of people are going to lose their jobs. It's the poor who are going to be hit hardest of all. While office workers are going to be able to work remotely from home, it'll mostly be servers and warehouse workers that suffer through this pandemic. We're going to learn a lot from this experience, and once we know what the real lesson of COVID-19 is, people are going to be demanding change. COVID-19 is going to put us to the test, but when that test is over, we're going to have a better understanding of the cracks in our societies. And if we're lucky, our world just might wind up a better place.